It's not very often we see a new bait concept come to market that completely takes over the entire industry. And that's what's happened with the dice rubber concept. So this was originally created by a brand called Fieldside in Japan, popularized by OSP, and it has been winning tournaments and driving people crazy because they can't get them for probably a year and a half, two years now. Now, the reason I'm bringing this up is because there has been some other companies sort of bringing this dice concept into, into more of a, a real category now because a lot of brands are kind of expanding on it, uh, learning what will work, what won't, and trying to put their own little twist on it. And one brand in particular that I think did an amazing job uh, is gonna be Raid. So Raid actually had a, I'll start with the origins of the name The One Way. This is, this is the Raid One Way, obviously. This is a dice style bait. So it's gonna have, you know, silicon skirting through a little plastic bait profile. This one has some added features, which we're gonna get to. Raid is a very famous, if you're not familiar, uh, Raid is a very famous bank fishing brand in Japan. Their whole concept is based on fishing from the bank. So a lot of these, a lot of their baits kind of look a little bit buggy. Yeah, they're, they make some really, really cool stuff. One of their most popular baits for the last couple of years has been the Raid 2-Way. So it's basically a mirrored bait. So this side is the same as this side. It's gonna have a little ball in the middle with a bunch of appendages. Uh, this is really effective on a wacky rig. Guys will Nico rig this. They will, You there's so much you can do with this. But somewhere along the way, someone realized that if you kind of broke this off at the ball, you would end up with an amazing little drop shot bait with a bunch of appendages that kind of look buggy. If you've never seen appendages in the water, they constantly are quivering and moving with the motion of the water and, and fish, quite frankly, can't stand it. So this was something that guys have been doing for a very long time and then Raid, seeing the popularity of the dice concept of baits, thought, let's try to do something and put our own little twist on it which is where the one way came in. This is the this is the one way. You'll notice that it has these kind of cup pincers on the front and they help this bait do something very, very special with the action. Raid has essentially combined a sort of you know, square bill crank bait into the dice concept. Guys are generally fishing this style of bait on a drop shot would be the number one. So they're just gonna nose hook drop shot this, throw it down there and kind of you know fish it as a drop shot should be. They're also gonna do a no sinker rig. So again, similar to that nose hook, uh, they're gonna throw it out there with no weight on it. If you're using the sinking model, this is gonna have kind of a slow fall to it. If you're using the floating model, it's gonna allow you to work this on top of the water. And then the third way that a lot of guys are fishing these is kind of on a, a Carolina rig style. So you have your weight fixed to the bottom and then this will kind of fall behind it as you're dragging it along. This is gonna have a lot of action in the water. With Raid, they've actually added in a second action into all of these rigging options. So the first one with the nose hook drop shot, you're going to, as you're bringing it back to you, so a lot of guys will sort of drop swim these where they'll kind of work it back to them. This will give this an amazing sort of rocking back to forth action uh, with these two cup lips. As you're bringing it back to you, it's just gonna be kind of rocking, sort of like a, sort of like a crankbait would, which is pretty cool. If you're working this on the water, you can kind of twitch it back towards you. This is gonna force these to cup up a little bit, which is gonna create extra action on top of the water. Plus, you're also gonna have the appendages, which are gonna be quivering, moving water on the top. And then same thing is if you're dragging Carolina rig on the bottom, this is gonna help that, you know, have that walk back and forth action on top of the drawing power already built into this bait with all the appendages. Now, most of the dice plastics are just straight plastic with silicon skirt threaded through it in multiple different ways. Now Raid has combined a molded appendage on the sides here with the silicon skirting through the top and bottom. So that's another unique feature about this, which I think is pretty cool. They'll have a little bit different action, the molded to the silicon, because they're different types of plastic, which again, helps this have drawing power. Another really cool thing that Raid has done, which has kind of been done in some of the other ones, but they have actually made a true floating version. There has been floating added to a couple of their key colors like Tenaga Ebi, 
Uh, the one that I've been holding this whole time is green pumpkin seed. These ones you're gonna have, and some other ones will have it as well. You're gonna have the option to, with some either have floating or sinking, or some will just be available in float. Others will be available just in sinking, which we'll go over all that and we'll look at some of the colors as well. Again, the most popular way this is gonna be is on a drop shot, something 610 medium light. If you guys are looking for a specific drop shot rod for this, feel free to reach out to us. I can definitely assist you with that. But yeah, this is just a really cool concept that has been doing a lot of damage in the fishing industry. This past weekend, Takumi Ito actually won the Bassmaster Elite Series with utilizing a dice concept bait. Not this one in specific, it was a little bit larger version, but that combined with some other stuff, he was able to, to win a second event, which is amazing for him. Uh, and a lot of guys like Kiyoya Fujita and other anglers have been getting more and more onto this dice concept. And we're seeing it a lot with some of the you know pros that are shopping at the store, reaching out, asking questions about these and how they work and, and, and whatnot. So I thought, because the other one has been so hard to get, the Raid one is a great option. Having that secondary action built into it is really, really cool to see. And I like it when brands don't just completely take what somebody else has, make one or two little changes and then make it their own. Raid has actually taken something and made it their own 100% with the cup lip, which is gonna give you that extra action. If you guys are having a tough time on the lake getting a bite, this is definitely something you're gonna to wanna to try out. We've ran through the colors in the drop before, but if you've not seen that drop, I can run through them again for you. And uh, we'll look at which ones are floating and non-floating. Uh, that one that I've been holding in my hand is the floating version of pumpkin seed. We're also gonna have the regular green pumpkin seeds. Another thing you'll notice between the floating and the non-floating, if they do have both versions, the floating version is gonna be much more opaque. So it's gonna be a very solid color, whereas the non-floating is gonna kind of be a Trans, more translucent color, I will say. We're gonna have uh, Scuppernong, which is floating. So this is gonna be that solid, solid color, as you can see here. This is gonna be Stealth Fish, so a classic raid color that I've come to really like in a bunch of their baits. Ghost Shrimp, so more of a clear color with some gold fleck in there. Stealth Killer, so this one's gonna be clear. Tenaga Ebi, so this is gonna be a floating version. So again, that opaque, super solid color. This is my personal favorite, Orange Jab. So I've actually had a lot of success on this over the last couple of weeks. We're gonna see Smoke Shrimp. And then finally, Aomiso. So yeah, those are the colors that are available. Uh, they recommend you to use a number four sort of drop, drop shot style hook. I've used a number two, it works great. But number four is kind of their preference. You're gonna to wanna to be using light line on this, you know, six five, six, seven pounds probably at the maximum. This is definitely an ultra finesse technique, but it's something that draws in ultra large fish. So next time you guys are out, you're having a rough bite, try to throw something new. Uh, the dice are definitely here to stay and for a good reason, they, they catch big. See you guys later.